Hi, I'm Sachin Matre. I work with BMC Cloud Lifecycle Management product. In this presentation, I will give you a small demo on CLM and ITSM integration where we will register a Remedy Force provider. I will talk about the prerequisites for successfully registering a Remedy Force provider, the steps involved in provider registration, and the configuration on the Remedy 4 side for approval process. The prerequisite for successful Remedy 4 registration is connectivity to salesforce.com from the platform manager. You can check the connectivity by logging into the salesforce.com directly from the platform manager machine. Next is users should have Remedy Force account details like the login and password. And the third thing is security token. If the user account details required the same, let's log into salesforce.com. I'm able to successfully log in. In case the security token is not handy, you can go to my settings and generate a security token using this button. Once all the prerequisites are made, we are ready to register a Remedy Force provider. Let's log into CLM using Cloud Administrator. Go to Workspace, Configuration, ITSM Configuration. Click on Register a new provider, select BMC Remedy Force. We have filled in the general information, connection settings. I don't want to enable CMDB settings. So I will keep it as false. Admin user details. In case this user doesn't ha have permissions to push template details onto the Remedy Force account. The approval poll interval that is every five minutes CLM will keep polling if the change request is approved and approval expiry after two days it will fail the request. Submit. Provider registration is complete. I have my default change policy. The provider registration is successful after provider registration i am in the remedy force account go to remedy force administration user can view the new, newly created templates so the first three templates are the actual templates which will be used during the itsm integration and the next two change templates that is cloud change update status to approved and cloud change update status to rejected these two templates are used for the approval process configuration go to manage workflow and other process approval process we can see the one which is available here These are the same steps that you need to perform when you create a new change approval. Once you create the approval process, you need to add the approval and rejection actions. So you can first go and add cloud change to approved. Here we use the template as I showed you in the change template form. This is one of the template that is available. You have to use it. Next you need to configure the process or the action to mark the change request as approved. Similarly, in the 
final rejection actions you need to use the change template to mark the change request as rejected automatically so that is the approval process configuration thank you